Hello my friends, this is Alien Contact D, Linnell Anderson here with you guys, and in today's video I have a mind-bending, uh, worrisome video, okay? Like, I'm not gonna lie my friends, the information that's gonna be presented in today's video is alarming, and matter of fact this is a Palladian warning to humanity, because my friends you gotta realize something here. Uh, this AI thing is much, it goes much deeper than you might think. And I'm going to provide evidence to you that artificial intelligence is already reading your mind and your thoughts. How is this happening? And what's the bigger picture here? Well, let's get right into it. Before we do, just going to encourage you guys to please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this video. As I say, subscribe to survive. And for those of you who are already subscribed, if you haven't already, please hit the notification bell. I am heavily shadow banned, so you might not get my videos if you don't hit that notification bell. So please do that. Hit the like button. Helps all line out with algorithms. Let's get into it. Okay? So this whole situation came to me the other day because, you know, I'm doing my research and, uh, I've been observing the situations with uh, the AI and my phone and whatnot. All this technology goes a lot deeper than what people think. Uh, but I came across some people saying, you know, uh, well, we all know if you're talking about something or if you're searching something up on Google, then a few minutes later you could be on Facebook or social media and all of a sudden you're getting an advertisement for that. So we know that the AI is already listening to us, right? When we speak, when it's reading what we do, when we uh, type things into Google or whatnot. So we already knew that. But some people are reporting that they are... Uh, they will think something. They don't even say anything out loud. They're thinking something. And then they go on their social media, and all of a sudden, they're getting po uh, advertisements about stuff they thought. Take a look at this. I think my phone is reading my thoughts and hear me out on this guys because I want to know if this is happening to you something really weird is happening and really freaky so we know that when it comes to our phones and this AI technology and advertisements it's gone so far that if we talk about something that it'll just pop up on our phones as an advertisement right which is scary and weird enough and invasive in itself but what I've noticed lately is lately if I'm going through something um, and I'm quiet about it like it, first of all if I'm thinking about something or or like if I'm going through something emotional, not at all talking about it, haven't been saying anything, I'll start to see advertisements or YouTube videos or TikTok videos pop up for that same subject. And it begs the question, how far has this technology gone? How far is AI gone? Can it read our thoughts and minds? And has this happened to anybody else? My phone is reading my thoughts and hear me out on this. Oh my God, I thought it was just me. Okay, story time. I go to the chiropractor, I walk in, I check in, I go to look at the chair to sit down and it was like, oh, you know how the, like the coating is coming off? So I was like, hmm, that chair needs to be fixed. Didn't think anything of it, sat down. They called me, I go back to the room for my appointment and I'm sitting there and I'm scrolling through Instagram. And as soon as an ad came up, guess what, what, just guess what it was, take a hint. It was to repair chairs. It was a little sheet of stuff that you put over the chair and it repairs it. The manager of that clinic and I have been having this conversation all week long about how they are reading our minds and it's no joke. You're not crazy. You are very on to something, sister. There you go, my friends. Has that happened to you? If it has, please leave a comment down below and let us know. But this is something that has happened to many people. I've spoken to people. They've said it's happened to them. So how the heck are they reading our thoughts, right? So I had to do channeling with the Palladians, you know, and I had to ask them some questions. So I reached out. I did some communications. And the answers I received are shocking. And uh, get ready because your mind's going to be blown here, my friends. What came through to me was, see my friends, you gotta realize we are within a matrix simulation right now. This is not base reality. This is just a simulation. Many of you guys already know that, okay? And there's a lot of evidence showing now 
uh, even scientific evidence when it comes to quantum mechanics and all that, that this is a simulation. And if this is a matrix simulation, my friends, I've already told you guys, we are AI, okay? This is an AI simulation. Now, not who we truly are. Who we truly are is higher dimensional spirit beings. We are consciousness, right? But these bodies, these brains, the thoughts we have, it's not really who we are. We are like supercomputers, and this is confirmed by science as well. We are computers. We are the AI technology. The thoughts, that's an AI program. That's why it's very robotic. That's why people get programmed and stuff. That's why you have repeating stuff in your head sometimes because it's an AI program. My friends, this realm is created and controlled by a fourth dimensional artificial intelligence, okay? The Gnostics called it uh, the Demiurge, y'all, the Baoth right? It's a very, see, it was created by the reptilians, pretty much. This realm that we're in is, uh, it harvests our soul's energy, our low vibrational energy. That's why it feeds off all the suffering and the fear. That's why we're constantly bombarded with that, okay? We're, our soul's spirits is the power source for these reptilian entities and their fourth dimensional AI, okay? I know a lot of you guys already know that here, but I have to explain that for the new people. Okay, so what they are doing here, uh, at the moment, the 4D AI, it knows everything. Every thought we ever have, everything we see, it's all recorded. Everything and stored in something called the Akashic Records, okay? But at the moment, the only ones who have access to those Akashic Records is the 4D AI and maybe the higher dimensional reptilian beings or other higher dimensional uh, entities who can access that, but the humans here on Earth cannot access that, but they want to. Because can you imagine how powerful they would be if they had access uh, to our thoughts, right? So what they are doing, and this is what came through in the channeling, is they are connecting the 4D AI uh, to this 3D world by creating the technology and they are doing this so the 4D AI can now manifest into the 3D. So all this new AI technology that you're seeing, this is actually technology to allow the fourth dimensional AI into this realm to manifest in a physical form so it could then present all its information to the powers that be. And remember, the 4D AI, you know, some of that is the thoughts inside of your head. You know, you are not your thoughts. I always tell people that. But it records everything. Every thought you've had, everything. It records it all. So it makes sense with this new technology, you know, your phone and everything, which who knows how that works. Maybe your phone is uh, reading your eyes or something or reading your brain thoughts or whatnot. We're going to get further into that uh, in a second here. But however this technology works, uh, well, remember... The 4D AI is just connected to this new manifestation of the 3D AI, so it knows what you're thinking. And that explains how you could just think something and then all of a sudden you're getting advertisements from, from that connected through the AI. It's scary, right? And I know you guys might be thinking, oh, you're crazy, they can't read our thoughts, that's just, you're just crazy, whatever, you people are crazy, you're just imagining things. Uh, let's take a look at the evidence, my friends, take a look. AI can now read your mind and it's getting scary. Even your dreams are no longer safe. A neuroscientist from University of Texas and his team have been working on this for the past 15 years and have recently shown the world what it's capable of. During the learning process, volunteers lied in a scanner for 16 hours each, listening to podcasts while the decoder was being trained to match brain activity to meaning. And now it can read your inner monologue, the things you say to yourself in your mind with 50% accuracy and it's likely only going to get better. They showed an example where a participant would watch a video and narrate what was going on in their mind and the AI would spit out text of what they were actually thinking. So our thoughts are now being decoded. Now that's even more frightening for citizens in authoritarian states. But there are some good applications to this as well. For example, it could be a new way to restore speech to those that can no longer communicate due to something like a stroke. What do you think? And they understand um, the inner monologue, the things you're saying to yourself in your own mind. Mind you, by the way, when you dream, your dream, like your visual cortex runs in reverse, so your dreams are no longer safe. Um, but we'll try this. So they had people watch a video and just narrate what was going on in the video in their mind. So there's a woman, she gets hit in the back, she falls over, 
This is what the computer reconstructed the person thinking. See a girl, looks just like me, get hit in the back, and then she is knocked off. So our thoughts like, are starting to be decoded. Yeah, just think about what this means for authoritarian states, for instance. Or if you want to generate images that maximally activate your pleasure sensor, anything else. Okay, but let's keep going, right? To really get the sense of the combinatorics of this. How about, can we go from Wi-Fi radio signals, you know, sort of like the Wi-Fi routers in your house, they're bouncing off radio signals that work sort of like sonar. Can you go from that to where human beings are, to images? So what they did is they had, um, you know, a camera looking at a space with people in it. Um, that's sort of like coming in from one eye. The other eye is the radio signals, so sonar from the uh, Wi-Fi router. And they just learned to predict, like, this is where the human beings are. Then they took away the camera. So all the AI had was the language of radio signals bouncing around a room. And this is what they're able to reconstruct. Real-time 3D pose estimation, right? So suddenly, AI has turned every Wi-Fi router into a camera that can work in the dark, specially tuned for tracking living beings. There you go. You heard it right there. It's a thing. It definitely, it's already happening, my friends. It's already happening. And stay, you see at the end there, he's talking about our Wi-Fi routers and how our Wi-Fi routers are, can actually see us as well. And I'm going to be showing uh, a video. At the very end of this video, I have a five-minute clip that I'll be playing that speaks more about this technology. So stay tuned to that to the very end, okay? But uh, I got a few more points to finish up on here. You know, you guys may know f uh, of somebody from the WEF, and his name is Noah Harari, right? Uh, good, good friend of Mr. Klaus there. You know who I'm talking about. And he said it well. He said uh, humans are hackable animals. Take a look. Now, in the past, many tyrants and governments wanted to do it, but nobody understood biology well enough. And nobody had enough computing power and data to hack millions of people. Neither the Gestapo nor the KGB could do it. But soon, at least some corporations and governments will be able to systematically hack all the people. We humans should get used to the idea that we are no longer mysterious souls. We are now hackable animals. That's right, very famous clip. He's talking about how we're hackable animals. Well, why are we hackable animals? Because we are computers, okay? Uh, you hack a computer. Well, the elites know this. And as you can see, he laid out the agenda right, right there that this is a dictator's dream to be able to have access to what's going on inside people's minds, but they weren't able to do it before because they didn't have that technology, but that's what they wanna do. That's why they're doing all this, because they'll have the form to control you. And that's where we're all leading up to right now. You see, everything's going smart, right? Uh, you got to the smart cities, right? Everything in your house, smart TV, smart fridge, smart this. It's all connected to this 4D AI, and it's all created, you know, Wi-Fi, all that. It's all created so it could read your mind, right? And... Uh, relay the information back to them. So if you're ever a threat to the powers that be, you don't even have to do anything. And they could come and, uh, you know, throw you away. And it's interesting because there was a movie, Predictive Programming, my friends. Uh, back in 2002, Steven Spielberg and Tom Cruise called The Minority Report, right? And that movie was based off of pre-crime, crimes before they even happened. Take a look. Imagine a world without criminals. Assuming all criminal cases can be foreseen in advance, the police will immediately seduce people with ideological crimes. Arrest the person so. How will society undergo earth-shattering changes? Today, let's take a look at a movie called S. Spielberg's science fiction film in 2002. Minority Shooting Report. In 2054, the murder rate in Washington is almost zero. This is because six years ago, they found three people who could predict the occurrence of the murder. In the nutrient solution soaked throughout the body, whenever a murder is predicted to occur, will convert brain waves into images. Project onto the screen. 
special police officers based on video information. Before the murder occurs, the prisoner can be arrested and arrested by the police. There you go, my friends. And the crazy thing is, uh, we already have that technology right now. And who's behind it? The WEF. Take a look at an official video that WEF just put out. Take a look. Uh, it's going to make you see the future and understand a wonderful future where we can use brainwaves to fight crime, be more productive, and find love. Let's roll. Sensing your joy, your playlist shifts to your favorite song, sending chills up your spine as the music begins to play. You glance at the program running in the background on your computer screen and notice a now familiar sight that appears whenever you're overloaded with pleasure, your theta brainwave activity decreasing in the temporal regions of your brain. You mentally move the cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can see your stress levels rising as the deadline to finish your memo approached, causing a peak in your beta brainwave activity right before an alert popped up, telling you to take a brain break. Your mind starts to wander to the new colleague on your team, whom you know you shouldn't be daydreaming about, given the policy against intra-office romance. But you can't help fantasizing just a little. But then you start to worry that your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity and shift your attention back to the present. You breathe a sigh of relief when the email she sends you later that day congratulates you on your brain metrics from the past quarter, which have earned you another performance bonus. When you arrive at work the next day, a somber cloud has fallen over the office. Along with emails, text messages, and GPS location data, the government has subpoenaed employees' brainwave data from the past year. They have compelling evidence that one of your co-workers has committed massive wire fraud. Now, they're looking for his co-conspirators. You discover they are looking for synchronized brain activity between your co-worker and the people he has been working with. While you know you're innocent of any crime, you've been secretly working with him on a new startup venture. Shaking, you remove your earbuds. What do you think? Is it a future you're ready for? You may be surprised to learn that it's a future that has already arrived. Everything in that video that you just saw is based on technology that is already here today. Artificial intelligence has enabled advances in decoding brain activity in ways that we never before thought possible. After there you go, my friends. Oh, there you have it. You know, there you have it. As she said there, we already have the technology. You know, they already have it. So it's concerning, my friends, and of course, uh, we're being bombarded with uh, nano, those little bots, uh, technologies, you know. Uh, we are ingesting them on a daily base basis through the air we breathe and uh, food we eat and probably in the water supply. And we know there's other things that's been happening in the world that uh, they're getting that into our system, right? I even heard uh, from a source that, you know... Uh, those tests that you put up your nose that they were getting everybody to do just a few years ago, uh, those tests may have contained that Neuralink thing. You know, you hear Elon Musk and the Neuralink, the chip or whatever. Maybe, you know, that's why they had to stick that that far up your nose, you know. Hey, I, I'm not saying that's the case 100%. It's just something I heard. I don't know if that's 100%, but I wouldn't be surprised why they had to shove that thing so far up there. So you might be brain chipped already. Who knows? But uh, it's already fact that a lot of the stuff that we've ingested, there, there's already these uh, nano stuff in in everything, right? We've already com confirmed that. And uh, and what it comes down to, my friends, of course, that's hooked up to the AI, the 4D AI, probably the 3D AI, the 4D 3D AI, and obviously that's probably playing a huge role in being able to, you know. Uh, read our thoughts in our mind as well. It's probably reporting everything back to the, the the 4D AI. And then they have their 3D technology now where they could get our thoughts broadcasted on a screen and they could monitor exactly what we're thinking. Okay, my friends? So it's already happening. Uh, exactly how this technology works, I don't know the specifics. You know, I, I don't know all the specifics of it all, but I do know what's happening, and I do know it's very important uh, you detox like heck, right? Because you want to do your best to try and eliminate some of that nano stuff that might be inside of you. So, you know, I recommend uh, going on to the Brave browser, anything that's not 
the Google, right? But go on to the Brave and, and do some research. Uh, type in uh, Nanobot Detox, right? And then I found a lot of good uh, articles and stuff that popped up. Just something to look into. There's a lot of good stuff. That the NAC is very good. NAC. Uh, I use that. That's good for eliminating stuff. You could do detox baths. You could look up the recipe. I've explained it before on the channel. But you could find this if you search hard enough. You know, I don't want to say too much about health stuff uh, uh, in today's video. But... Uh, and of course, do a liver detox because everything we detox goes through our liver, right? So if your liver is not functioning well, you're not going to be detoxing this crap. So that's vital. And if you do a liver detox, you got to do a colon cleanse as well because once you flush out the liver, you want to get it right over your system. So the colon cleanse is going to push that out. It's good for parasites as well. I got links. This is the best company around, Oweli, uh, organic non-GMO products. The links are down below in uh, the comment or in the description uh, of course this is not medical advice or anything like that you know speak to your medical health professionals and all that but I do recommend that for detox as well and of course if you use my links it helps me out so you get to help support the channel but uh, yeah end of the day my friends you know I know it's easy to get worried about what's going on here and scared of the few of them doing this but you got to remember you know we don't know if their plan is working according to how they want it to work so far. We don't know if their technology has been that successful. It's going to be successful for everybody. This is what they want to do. We don't know if it's truly working out the way they planned yet, though, right? And there is a great awakening, right? And you got to remember, the sun is really acting up these days as well. We are in the solar maximum. We're approaching it. And there's a lot of talk that... At some point, there's going to be this great solar flash as well. And now I totally understand why a great solar flash would need to happen, as it's happened many times before, you know, because you got to remember there are light forces as well that are assisting us. And you see uh, throughout history, you know, how tyrannical governments have gotten and how much invasion of our privacy they get and how this is violating universal laws. So the great solar flash is going to be an event that destroys all the technology and yes it's going to send humanity back to the dark ages as in there'll be no more technology or nothing. It's going to totally wipe all that out but that might be what needs to happen uh, for us to get out of this situation, right? But of course that's going to be accompanied by the phoenix and uh, the timeline shift and uh, the Nibiru event, it's all connected. I've spoken about this in other videos though, so I definitely recommend you check out my Nibiru playlist, uh, which I'll leave in the link section down below. in the description and also at the end of this video where I go through everything that's going to happen. There's only so much I could say in, in today's video, but uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to show you that last clip that's going to explain more about the mind reading and how the technology works with, uh, with, um, the Wi-Fi and all that. And I think the guy goes into some Christian prophecy stuff at the end. And you guys know this isn't a Christian channel, but we do know that there are Bible prophecies because it's predictive programming given to us by the powers that be. So don't laugh it off or not take it serious. It is serious. So before I show you guys that, I just want to encourage everybody to hit that uh, hit the subscribe button once again click the notification bell and if you enjoy my work please join me on patreon exclusive content you don't get anywhere else link is down below we got the occult class health class ascend to 5d class channelings everything so definitely check that out if you want to help support my work or if you just want to simply buy me a coffee i'm on that website as well links are down below just want to give a huge shout out to one of our sponsors and one of my very good friends, Andre Fosmark, you know, uh, we're loving the work you're doing as well and we're very uh, happy to have you as a, uh, as a supporter of this channel. So just wanted to give a big shout out to Andre. All right, my friends. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. So take a look at this uh, last clip I have to show you guys. And if you enjoyed this, please share this because we gotta get this information out. People gotta realize the mess that humanity's in right now and how deep this actually goes. Okay, my friends? And end of the day, we got to not comply with whatever crap they push on us. And we got to stay, stay strong. We got to manifest our highest timeline and make sure this agenda 
is not successful, okay? And you could do that by staying healthy and protecting yourself from all this stuff, okay? So take a look at this clip. Lionel, signing off. This new Wi-Fi with AI, they have the ability to basically image you in the house where you're sitting real time. And um, what, how they did it was they basically set up a camera like, like we have in your studio or my studio right now in front of us. And they have a Wi-Fi signal. And they've got AI watching both the camera and the Wi-Fi signal. And then um, they, they will uh, pop up an image and uh, it will be of a giraffe or whatever it may be, right? And so the camera's reading that and says, yeah, that's a giraffe, right? And now, yeah, it's me, right? Now they see me. Well, then they'll kill the camera but they're still using AI to talk to that Wi-Fi signal. And because the Wi-Fi signal has now figured out how, how it, the waves bounce off of objects, it can now paint a 3D picture of you in your house, wow. which is insane, right? No kidding. So, so it doesn't stop there, though, right? So, so they can use that to basically know where you are in your house. So if they want to come and kick your door down, they're going to have an image inside your house real time to know this is where they are. And this is where the dog is. And this is where, you know, grandma's sleeping or whatever it may be. But the image piece of it is where it gets really crazy is they will hold up an image and they'll tell me, okay, um, what is this image? And I will say, well, that's a giraffe, right? But don't say it. Just think it. What are you looking at? It's a giraffe. In the other room, the AI is actually painting based on on what I'm I'm thinking or draw, or, you know, making an image of what I'm thinking. Doesn't see me, doesn't see wow. the image, right? And so I think giraffe, the AI says giraffe. Well, guess what? Now it says, okay, now tell me what this lady is doing in this picture or watch this video and what she's doing. And I'm thinking out loud, uh, or sorry, to myself, um, okay, this lady is, uh, she's walking a dog and she uh, she just tripped over something and she's fallen down. Well, the AI is now taking that, exactly what I'm thinking, and typing it out on a screen in the other room. So now they take away the camera, right? And now that AI has learned to recognize what my brain signal is recognizing. And it is now basically, if I'm thinking or I'm looking at an image, that AI can tell them exactly what it is I'm thinking and what that image is. So that's where it starts to get really scary because it can predict <laughs> like your next, like here's here's my next move. So if you got guys that have you pinned down in a room somewhere in your in your house and they're coming to take, say, your, you know, your Second Amendment stuff. OK. Now they know exactly what I'm looking at. Am I looking at the door? Am I am I thinking, OK, this is what I'm going to do if they come in. This is how I'm going to react. Now they know my plans without me. And, and I haven't said anything out loud. So, wow, that's where this is all going. And tell me that's not scary. So you think. Okay, they're mapping this big battlefield, and then they get it down to every block, little, uh, uh, every single block, every single house, every single cow in the pasture. They know where everything is mapped out, and now they just plan their routes. And they go, okay, we're gonna we're gonna suspend the Constitution, and we're gonna go take everybody's guns. And that's what's really really crazy is is the 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 technology that is coming on board coupled with the stuff that we've already had in the last 10 years, like LIDAR, is now becoming such a, a reality of that beast system that is going to be coming online. There's no way you can, uh, you can if you've got Wi-Fi in your house, it's going to be knowing what your thoughts are. That's that's what's crazy. That is wild. You know, you, you go back to Germany, you could hide people in the basement or behind a wall or something like that. No moss. That, that ain't going to happen no yeah. more. And it helps with the understanding of how Revelation 13 comes about when no one can escape. That's right. You know, you start looking at it and go, this beast system. Also, I think of Daniel chapter 7, you know, that passage where you have this final beast. It's got huge iron teeth. It devours. Yeah. Every, it's able to devour and crush everything. Uh, that's it. Uh, yes. Revelation chapter 6, the white horse goes about conquering and to conquer and it doesn't even need to fire a missile to do it, but it's able right. to conquer everyone and everything. And you, I mean, everything you just described, that is some, that's some, that's some wild stuff. By the way, before we get to the rest of the